Hey guys, welcome back. Maris here and today we have Tropico 6. Um, you probably noticed there's a patch and trading now is included. You probably wonder how it is, how it works. And if you want to trade like a boss and make a lot of money, well, you came to the right place. So I spent basically a whole day trying and restarting and everything to understand and get all the knowledge around it. So let me share everything I know. So long story short, I have paused because I have, I decided this is the perfect moment to show everything around trading. So what is trading currently? In trade, everything is as previously. Uh, these are all trade roads. Then there are active trade roads. Then there's, uh, okay, others. And then the, then the new stuff begins. And by new stuff, not a single price currently is fixed. You see, it doesn't matter. It's up, down, changing, whatever, but it is changing all the time. So if previously, well, boats are still the best, of course, but the price can go down. And by go down, I mean, I suffer a lot because all my business in this uh, playthrough, which is actually the new map Rio, is based on a rum and rum actually went down and price is just ridiculous i can't make enough money from stupid rum but that's 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 let's let's forget about it so next thing let me explain the basics well now my economics degree kicks in but honestly this is just the basics of anything so everyone everyone can understand that how you make money by trading it's uh, there are a few things to keep in mind there's requirements needed there's some specific um, let's call them situations where you can exploit that and yeah basically you need to understand when and what to do so let's start with the basics first what you need is not necessarily, but I found that you actually need to be in uh, this World Wars era. You can start trading, of course, in colonial era. The problem is without this building, which is Trade Institute, uh, there is notification going like shellfish, you see? Now it's trending down. Basically, it gives up. But I noticed without this building, a lot of things are missed. There, basically, there's price going down and not a single alarming basically you need to sit on trading screen to see if some prices are going up or going down that's not ideal so first things world war then you need trade institute whenever you have trade institute obviously you need workers and everything you don't need necessarily this provoke ball or provoke beer i will explain why you actually don't need them because the more I think, the more I understand they are pointless, kind of. And the third thing what you need, for sure, keep that please in mind, you need money. This is not a production um, way where you basically put some building and then it starts generating money. No, you need, the more money you have, the more money you can make. It's simple, it's, it's trading, it's, you, you, you purchase things cheaper and you need to uh, sell them uh, more expensive. That in, in, in that's, that's the margin you make money. And for purchasing, you need money. That's simple enough. That's why I needed to start simple uh, production chain to get some money. And the fourth, not necessarily, but sometimes you need this warehouse. There is a scenario where warehouse is absolutely not needed. And I'll show you that. So whenever all those cr criteria are met, I am, I am in World War, I have a trade institute, I have, actually I have also a warehouse, that's the warehouse, sorry I'm, I'm a little bit behind, but don't worry, this, this field, this field, it's empty, so I'm using only for gold and tobacco, doesn't matter. And I have, yeah, I don't have money because I have invested already, so let's jump to the next part. The next part is explaining two different scenarios how you make money. Uh, one is when price goes up, one when price goes down, and you can benefit in both of them, and I'll show you how. When price goes up, it's quite simple. Okay, the, the, okay. before that, 
before that basic principle. Uh, you need to understand how trading in general works. It's all based on knowledge. For example, that's why you need this trade institute. It shows you, and currently it shows me already, that weapons are, prices are going up and shellfish prices are going down. So um, what you need is information beforehand. And we see that upcoming in some near future, which actually can be quite long, uh, fish and nickel prices will go up and log prices will go down. So for example, if you currently are selling on or, or your economics is based on logs, well, you're in deep trouble because the price will just go down. And I'll, by down, I mean a lot. This is the scenario where every price changes uh, the more expensive good itself, the more is the change in, in terms of actual amount. So yes, it's it's the more expensive good, the, the more margin you will get it, get out of the trading. Okay, so far, I hope everything is clear. Um, let me show you, I currently have enabled, yeah, I have both scenarios where price went up and price went down. And let me show, so in this scenario, I'll show you how it, how it went down. Um, when price goes up, it's quite easy for you to understand. Currently, something uh, costs less. In some near future, we know it will cost a lot more. What, what it means, simple, it's the simple scenario. You buy now, that's the case where you need warehouse to store it. That's why I had four gold, actually for tobacco as well. So you store the goods, you get as basically as many as you want, can and then wait for the moment when this happens for example now weapons kick in we know that price will go up and it will go up for a lot more months so don't sell now sell at the end when when after 45 months it's almost a wait what <clears throat> those are months so in few years the weapon weapons price will be huge then you open up your warehouse sell goods profit like a boss all right simple enough i'll show you what currently am am i doing it is my road currently gold so when price was low when i knew gold price will go up i struck a deal i struck a deal which actually at that point sounded really bad because they sold me uh, sh smugglers sold the gold above standard so you see standard price was 9,000 and they said like hey, 10,000 take it or leave it and I was like and I knew gold price will go up and I was like fine because the changes usually are around 30 up to 60 percent uh, variation so I knew the price will go up so I said okay let's let's struck a deal 14,000 that's in advance. They keep providing the gold for the exact same price. I said, okay, I'll buy 10, 10,000, 10.7 thousand uh, for, uh, for every batch of gold. That's that's one, 1,000, okay? So now they are providing me a gold. I store it in warehouse and actually in some time, gold price kicked in and it went up. It went up. And let's see what happens now, because I'm already in the second stage where gold, you see, this is where I struck a deal. They still provide me gold in this um, price, one, up, let's say 11,000, it will be easier. 11,000, it's just rounding up. But you see, the price is already 14,000. So what I, I'm doing now, I'm already in the same, situ same boat is gold arriving to me the cheap gold and in the exact same moment i'm selling the gold back so actually i don't need warehouse because it happens on all time and you see the difference the difference is quite simple 11 to 13000 actually it was 14 uh 14000 it's 3000 i make 3000 every time uh the the ship arrives simple as that i have one trade road which i struck when it was cheap and now I'm selling and every time ship arrives I don't even need this warehouse I, I thought it will take some longer time here arrives 
I'm buying cheap and in the same time like buying cheap and like yeah here's your extra super expensive gold now boof I don't need any any production any anything right it's simple as that but wait let's let's check another scenario which which is the tricky one because in the mind it's hard to understand you see when price goes down let's see another scenario shellfish right so now it's really expensive later it will be really cheap so i want to buy in future and sell it now not possible right again keep in mind that the the basic trick how you exploit all this in, in game is those trade routes trade deals don't have expiring rate right so what i did when, when what was it let me check what was it T tobacco when to uh, tobacco i knew the price will go down so i know in future it will cost cheap as hell what i did i said right away to access guys you know and this actually is a good deal uh, at that moment standard price was 2000 and they they were willing to pay me 2300 for every batch of t tobacco and i said th at that moment there was a trade route and i said okay let's struck a deal and i basically took a deal where i need to provide them 21000 tobacco and uh, they will uh, buy for 2300 uh, dollars or some dollars yes dollars right simple enough and the thing is it is long term play so i struck a deal obviously i don't have not a plantation not a, not a resources nothing i was like okay I, i'll sell you tobacco and that's it they took my word for it and what happens next <laughs> well you will be shocked <laughs> i waited quite some time the price drop kicked in the price dropped down as hell and after that it's, it's not a big different um, let's say I benefit less than by selling gold but still after some time when tobacco price went down I struck a deal with Mexico and yeah it was in, in it's hard I'm just explaining it was another way around right the, the timelines it's, it's just simple as that and when the price gone that da went down there what after some time you need to check trade routes Mexico was willing to sell me uh, goods you see 1700 and exact same thing happens in a in the same ship arrives my now purchased cheap tobacco which is also a struck deal the price will not change I will receive every batch in this price and in the same time I'm selling it back to Axis and you see the difference 500 just like that I don't have a plantation I don't have I don't actually need a warehouse I will show you why I need why I build this warehouse is the the problem kicks in where amount exported and important doesn't match because I have a deal for 21,000 for exported and I, but there was no deal for 21,000 so the next batch was <laughs> so you see there will be a lot more tobacco purchased but still I am purchasing it really really cheap I can make it in um, cigars or do whatever or store it and wait when the price kicks in but that doesn't matter I'm making 500 for every approaching ship and here I make 3000 for every ship approach and that's it and basically that is ladies and gentlemen um, two more things I want to mention and I will close the video because no need to be longer than it is I hope you understand two basic principles first of all you need to know what will happen for example now fish nickel and logs and to be fair you see weapon price will go up a long time which means we can still jump in the ship and this is one of the things I need to mention we know the weapon price goes up so what we do do we go and check import we can currently import weapons from smugglers 
The cost will be 18,000. I'd say go for it. Yeah, I don't have money because I'm losing currently. So purchasing, I think and I believe it will go way be beyond 24,000 um, um, price. And uh, second, I wanted to show you another scenario. Let's say fish and nickel. Fish and nickel. I need to show you. The thing is important to keep in mind. You see, fish. It is already above normal price, and you to, you need to make a decision if that future price or actually nickel is a better example. It currently sells way off the normal price. So the question you need to ask is. When the price goes up, will it go above 45%? Because there's currently one option. My advice will be no. Even if it goes above, it will be a few percent. You will benefit a little, just a little. So this is a scenario where you, your knowledge of what will happen next doesn't matter if there is no matching good deal on the table. You see, that's the case. In, 45% we are already buying super expensive and when the price goes up There might not be the good deal that they might stand on the same 6,000 or even less and you will be losing money So you need to keep one thing you need to keep in mind uh, Not always not every knowledge you can use there's sometimes situation when the, there's no trade drought then just skip it wait another price change and second one is really 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 important always remember it is long time play and by long i mean you see 28000 sorry 58000 i'm saying 58000 every time one ship arrives in 6 months approximately they are bringing me 1000 so you can calculate how much years i need to fully get it done so don't think it's like quick fix or something. It's basically addition to what you do in the game. You can additionally pay, pay attention to the prices. And obviously, whenever you pro provoke a ball, let's just do it. You see, they provide me an option. This option, it's not set. It, I, I, I'm not, I can currently, yeah, of course I will take a run. I am purchasing a shit ton of cheap tobacco and I'm producing rum, so this is my to go. In the same way, I could, I don't know, start producing bolts, and bolts will be expensive in some time. But um, what I'm trying to say is, you see, they are now back in line, and it will take up to, I don't know, 10, 20 years when this kicks in. It's a really long time. Even if you don't provoke bull, there will be upcoming, you see, those uh, price changes, they will, they will happen anyways. So, what you need to do is just to be smart and exploit. I just basically now um, um, burn down my knowledge points in some future investment. In the same time, I could just work out with nickel actually weapons. I will, I will work with weapons. See, my ship arrives, I, I have 2,000 gold. He bought 2,000 and brought one cheap gold. You see, my money is now back in business. What I do now, where was it? 25,000 above, 25% above. I don't care, bring it in. Hell yeah. And now I'm storing weapons as well. And w when you buy, this is important, you see, I'm buying and I need to store weapons, so I'm not selling them right away. And that's it. Now I will lose money because I'm just buying weapons. They are quite expensive. And in future, I will sell them somewhere. But the idea, how it works, I hope it, it yeah, you get it. Let me... I don't know, yeah, there's no fast forward, but um, we can actually check. I'm purchasing weapons. What was the price? Yeah, we can see it right here. Um, yeah, all the prices are here all the time, basically. And the oil, yeah, oil was 
actually a lot of money here. But um, I'm still experimenting and then finding all else. So yeah, the backlog is making me money. Gold, I purchased, I'm still purchasing 10,000. So whenever the price is above 10,000, I'm making money. So I need to pay attention. If the price suddenly drops be be below, I need to stop selling my gold because it, I will be losing money. I'm not digging it up, I'm just purchasing and uh, selling. And I want to show you how... Yeah. Remember, the price, the trend goes up and it goes up by, well, a long time. You see, we are already at 8,000. 18,000. I will just wait a few moments. You feel free to jump off the video. Sure. Basically, you know everything you need to know already. Um, yeah, should be fine. All right, let's make some extra effort so people love me. <clears throat> you see? That was a close one, Presidente. Ah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we don't need to spend any more money on what the free housing. Stop it. Come on, time to work. Of course no free lunch. Yeah, I took a loan actually to <laughs> make happen this video. So, remember, I am purchasing <laughs> so it's already happening so let me pause it right here actually additional bonus for everyone so you see currently weapon you can I can start selling weapons I'm storing in my warehouse because the price is already 1000 above but the thing is I know for 20 more months it will increase why should I sell it so cheap and in the same time you see I am purchasing weapons for 18,000 and I can struck a deal for 19, 90, basically 20. I can right away start getting my money back, but no, I'm I'm a not a cheap bastard. I wanted to sell a smart guy. Why should I sell? I wait until the end, and after 20 months, when the price will be at top, 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 then I check. If there is a trade route, can you sell? If not, I will just simply sell. Remember, you can sell in trade routes and also just simple of in the, the casual price. And the casual price is this one. Okay, it will be the long video. Sorry, guys. Feel free to jump off. <clears throat> I will. I, we just need to wait to wait it out. One of the ways, how, of course, I don't have money, so I, I can do anything. Mm, how much? Yeah, make sure you have. Remember, 10,000 10, goods can be stored in docks without any problem. If you go beyond, you need warehouse. A warehouse at the beginning uh, can only hold again 10,000. Later in Cold War and Modern War, you can uh, increase capacity more and more. So 20,000 is this I can store. And the question is, do I actually need more? Yeah, tobacco, I will have something like 30,000. Another storehouse just for tobacco I need. And gold, gold will just, in a moment, I will purchase everything cheap as hell. Then I need to just sell it and it's fine. So, you see, we are still, and remember, at that moment, I started buying weapons and they were already above, 25% above, it was like, oh, so expensive, 18,000. Well, we are being smart because now weapons cost, ooh, look at that. We can already start selling and by every batch just get money, shit ton of money, which actually I think we will do. You see, the weapon will reach the peak and when the peak is reached they don't suddenly drop they don't they stay for some time and i'll show you 
because we need two more months and I'll show you how to make money because that was the promise boom I stole so gold is sold all good one trade road is opened up weapons still trending one more month and boom Eh, rebels don't care so weapons are back in normal so you see price is 21,000 point four I can sell by that amount but I can also check weapons look at that there is actually above normal price Eh, there's not enough uh, amount but eh, let's sign a deal take it take weapons and sell weapons Some say that while they... I don't care fire station I don't have money sorry guys so where's my weapons 4,000 here 2,000 here I purchased a lot more a lot more all right I'm still purchasing Yeah, and I need to select allow to transport to dock. <clears throat> so again, if there's a situation when I'm buying, still buying weapons and still selling weapons. So let's hope. Uh, you see my 50,000 minuses. My almanac probably looks interesting. <laughs> you see, starting purchasing, you see the expenses are quite high. Well, it's the salary time. And I will get even more every every now I'm getting my money back I just need to figure out what to do with the bacon oh you're, yeah right tobacco I know I know there will be in future tobacco prices increased right yeah yeah I just need to wait I just oh ooh, wait what I had hundred Oh, oh, I accidentally made a shit ton of money. How dare you? Simple enough. Simple economy. Economics. So you see, I promised you and I actually delivered. Quite cool, right? Fire station. Just money is not a problem. Money's at work, Prez. I optioned the stock, yeah. stocked up on options, and stopped mm, all the options. Tobacco. So, guys, thank you for watching. There, there was no need for last 10 minutes, but I just wanted to show you that I'm not tricking anyone. Well, just the game and prices and market and everything. <laughs> but now you know, guys. Now you know. Keep in mind. You need to know what, what will happen with what goods. You need to have money. You need to have place where to store those goods in term, if you need to s store it for some time. And it is a long, long-term play. It is addition to something you do, so don't... I started it and I hope that I can make every income and everything just based on economics. Uh, on my buying and selling but you need some money and at the beginning and you need your paypal you you don't want to lose um, votes and everything so you need to keep that all in balance in the same time in parallel you can start trading now i have shit enough money i can now fully jump and start buying cigars fish nickel rum tobacco wool store it like a crazy man in warehouse and whenever it kicks in selling it off simple as that that is the new mechanics. That is the new map, Rio in sandbox mode. That's guys for you. If you have any questions, any suggestions, anything else, I think I kind of explored everything about around it. What's the new? Of course, there's there's actually nothing nothing new besides this. So yeah, <laughs> nothing major. Of course, there's a lot of bug fixes and everything. But guys, thank you for watching. This was Morris. Sorry for a long video, sorry not sorry, you know me, always long speaking and explaining from the beginning to the end, so everyone understands and can do that in your gameplay. So have fun in Tropical 6, clicking uh, like, share and whatever, uh, 
yeah, that also always helps and your comments in comment section are always welcome. Thank you, cheers, Maris out, and we will meet in next videos.